so much. Let me bring in my guests. Mushtaq Kak is a Bollywood actor. Sanobar Javed is a student of SP College of Srinagar. We have SP Vaid, former DGP of Jammu and Kashmir. Arti Tikku, former, uh, you know, founder and editor in chief of the New Indian. Amit Raina, spokesperson of Roots in Kashmir and a Kashmiri activist. We also have Majid Haidari, senior journalist. Sanobar, I'm going to begin with you. Uh, there's a generation in Kashmir which has grown up without cinemas. What does the opening of this multiplex mean to you and your friends? Um, first of all, I would like to thank you for sharing my thoughts and opinions regarding this uh, multiplex cinemas, the inauguration of multiplex cinemas in Kashmir. Uh, firstly, it is a very uh, major uh, uh, initiative taken by the government, taken by the UT administration and uh, I would like to thank the administration and uh, my big thanks goes to LG Manoj Sina, who had uh, taken a major step in uh, Jammu and Kashmir. It's really an historic day for all of us, for all the Kashmiris. We would uh, have uh, get a chance. In, there are various... Like, yeah, aapne, various uh, uh, tickets in the next 2-3 days? about 1990s cinemas due to the onset of militancy jo hai cinemas jo hai cinemas yahan pe band ho chuke the and government has taken a lot of efforts on it for the for the revival okay. of these sp ved sp ved you heard from a young girl who is excited and yes. thanking the administration you have seen law yes, and order yes. before the abrogation yes, of article yes, 370 yes. does this move show the government has been able to gain public support which was lacking in previous years yeah, Maria, uh, you're absolutely right. I must compliment uh, the administration headed by uh, Lieutenant Governor Manoj Sinha and my friend uh, uh, Vijay Dhar, uh, uh, who, who has uh, hmm. uh, credit of having this first uh, multiplex in Srinagar. Uh, I wish uh, more such entrepreneurs in Srinagar and other parts of the valley and uh, the rest of the union territory come forward you know one of the basic requirement of uh, human being is entertainment uh, de-stressing himself anybody would like uh, to once in a while go with the family to a mall uh, go uh, I'll give family an opportunity to shop have an ice cream go to a, a, a multiplex have see a movie have popcorn uh, it, it uh, uh, is the uh, kind of entertainment which everyone requires yeah. and i had observed that uh, people in kashmir were deprived of it in last three decades they used to come to wave mall in jammu or to delhi hmm. and uh, generally wave mall in jammu uh, was uh, crowded with the uh, uh, people from valley uh, and enjoying the movie a good thing uh, we all had tried uh, in the past but unfortunately the conditions were not very conducive it is a big step uh, forward yes but it's a big I, step and and I, a step which yeah. which perhaps mr ved also shows that people in general because the first day first show was a hit it shows that people are continuing to have that faith that they can step out of their homes arti tiku we have seen the horror of targeted killings of, uh, you know, that has happened against migrants and Kashmiri pundits. How essential is this push for normalcy under the shadow of insecurity? Well, Maria, let me uh, first say that finally, after 32 years, it seems that somebody in the government has been paying attention and listening to voices like mine. And I'm grateful that finally they are doing what needed to be done for youth in Kashmir earlier, but never uh, it's never late. Second issue which you raised about Kashmiri pundits. Well, I would say that, you know, 
apart from having a blueprint for the return and rehabilitation of Kashmiri pundits, hmm. they need to create a conducive atmosphere for minorities in Kashmir. And uh, mind you that Kashmiri pundits are the aborigines. You know, they have a history of, recorded history of 5,000 years. But at the same time, I would say that the government hasn't done enough for the return and rehabilitation of Kashmiris. At this point of view, with cinemas opening up, with a lot of risk going back in Kashmir, with things becoming or seeming new normal, Kashmiri pundits are going to ask, what about them? What yeah. about their return and rehabilitation? And what about the acknowledgement of their genocide by Islamic terrorists? So that question is not going away. It is, it is a great uh, step. It's a progressive step for uh, secular, plural democracy of India. And this so-called Hindu right-wing uh, government, in fact, is showing that it is as progressive as any other government in the country. Hmm. India fundamentally is a progressive, plural nation, and it is going in that direction uh, in Kashmir as well. Yes, yeah, so that so rehabilitation...